Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to create a Google Slide. First thing I want to do is if I'm logged in, click on Google Drive. Now I'm actually making this uh, slideshow for my physics class, so I'm going to go to the appropriate folder where I want to save it, which is in our Momentum Project. Uh, chapter 6, they're required to make like an outline of the book as and explain how it relates to a lab they're doing. So I click Create, then I click uh, Google Slides, and it creates a blank Google slide looks a lot like PowerPoint. The first thing that will pop up on the screen is a list of themes. Uh, you can create your own theme, you can even download themes from the internet, but uh, Google does have a pretty decent list of themes you can choose from uh, that have backgrounds and color themes. So I'm going to choose this one here and click OK. And this is the title slide. So uh, I'm going to click here. Um, part of their assignment requires them to do an outline of chapter 6 so I'm just going to say chapter 6 um, I think it was linear momentum and collisions and then uh, on the bottom you can put the author of the presentation so I'm just going to click by Tom Adams and that's the first slide now when I go to click the second slide in the upper left hand corner there's a little plus sign when I click on that plus sign it adds a new slide. Now if you use the theme, notice it's a little different than the title slide, um, but uh, this is the theme that we're going with. So I'm just going to outline the chapter as it's written in the book, 6.1 Linear Momentum. That's one slide. Then I'm going to click the plus button to get to the next slide. Uh, section 2 out of the textbook was 6.2 uh, Impulse. We talked about Impulse in 6.2. And then I'll come back later uh, and fill in some bullet points. 6.3, uh, I'm just going to click on the title. 6.3 was, uh, I think, um, con conservation of momentum. So I'm just going to type that in. Linear momentum, I should clarify. Now, it doesn't quite fit. So what I'm going to do to make it fit on the top, if I expand the text box, because uh, there's some long words there, and they just don't quite fit. So I'm going to continue to expand the text box. Um, to try and get that to fit on one line. There it goes. Oh, not quite wide enough. So I'll expand it just a little bit longer and now I can fit it on there. I'll try to center this a little bit. Okay. And then uh, from there I'm going to click the plus button again, add another slide. And the next section was 6.4 and 6.5, 6.6. And so I'm just going to basically go through and add the title for every single one of these um, uh, slides for each section in the textbook. And part of the assignment was is the students were going to list kind of bullet point what the textbook talked about and then relate it to a lab. So for 6.4, uh, I'm going to write down elastic and inelastic collisions. Uh, I misspelled elastic. Now what I did here is I made a little mistake and I left the mistake in the video on purpose because I wanted you guys to see. I, I accidentally inserted the title slide. So I need to delete the title slide. Now I did that because I had the title slide highlighted when I clicked the add button. I choose the one I want to get rid of and right click and then choose delete and that gets rid of the slide that I didn't want. Then I go down to the end of my PowerPoint slide then click uh, the plus button and it adds the new slide at the end. So I've got 6.5 which focuses on the center of mass and then I have 6.6 .6, so I'm going to click the plus button making sure that I'm at the last slide. I'm going to type in 6.6 .6, which is jet propulsion. Now I'll type that in. And then lastly, I want the kids to write a summary. Um, probably, uh, I'm not quite sure how I want them to write the summary yet. I have a pretty good idea. So then I'm going to go back to 6.1. We're just going to add some bullet points. Um, 
So I click the text window, select bullets, and I'm just going to type that uh, linear momentum. What did 6.1 say from the book? I got the book open. It said that P equals MV. Uh, maybe let's put a definition first. I'm going to give the kids some freedom here as to what they want to type and how they want to type it. But momentum is a product of mass times uh, velocity. And then uh, in the next bullet point, I want to see a formula. So I think what I'm going to have the kids do is put a definition, then a formula, and then they have to put in um, how it related to their recent uh, project, the momentum project that we worked on. Um, and so they're going to do that for all of the slides. So, um, I make sure that they mention that the total momentum is uh, the sum of all the individual momenta and then they can relate that to their lab. Okay, so then on the summary, I think what I want them to do is list all the things that they've learned uh, from their project and whatnot. So I'm going to slide down so they could do that for 6.2. They'll talk about what impulse is, how you calculate it, and how it related to their lab, all the way down to the end. And then at the end of the summary, what I want them to type is, I learned. So I'm going to type in, I learned. And then we'll do, add the bullet point here. And what I'd like for them to type in is momentum is conserved when blah, 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 kinetic energy, you know, all the things that they talked about in our lab uh, and in the textbook. Lastly, I'm going to name this. So by clicking on the title, uh, I can just, uh, it'll open up this window and I type in the name that I want the file to, to have. Uh, when I click OK, that's it. This whole thing will be saved as that file. Once I've got the file saved, if I want to show someone, I click right here on the preview button. I have some options. I'm just going to show the presentation. And it pretty much works like PowerPoint. Uh, you could use the arrow keys on the keyboard. You can click the mouse, but that's how you scroll through from the beginning to end. And that's it. And then you have the little counter down at the bottom. I hope this helps. Thanks.